just because your spark like doesn't smell bad doesn't mean that like nobody's gonna hear it either. She won't even smell it, but the placebo effect, it would be the worst part in the world. And they're like, oh, oh, oh. And like, yo, it actually doesn't smell. And they're like, oh, they fake. What's going on? It's Trey. Back again for yet another questionnaire life. But today, I got rapper, songwriter, person come out with us. What's going on, man? I'm good. That's all that matters, man. So, after a long night of partying, which of these foods are you most excited to find in the morning? Cold pizza, cold burrito, or a cold halal platter? You see, uh, maybe, maybe a burrito, and let's say a, a cold burrito with spelt bread. Let's make that a fully alkaline burrito. Tell me more about this shit. <laughs> Well, I've never in my life heard about an alkaline burrito. It just refers to things that are organically occurring, as in um, not existing by way of human interference. Actually, so this is about your whole philosophy about like protecting yourself, like mind, body, and soul, and all that, right? Mm -hmm. That's something like you've always done, like you were just brought up this way, or just something like you discovered over the years. I think that the first revolution or the first uh, uprising that one must have is within oneself. And there are a lot of uh, tyrannical decisions I, in, in uh, choosing what to eat, that I would just eat things that don't serve anything in my body just because of how I think up here. And I'm not consulting and considering the livelihood of all the organisms inside me, which is kind of trumpy. Damn, all right, well, thanks for coming by. That's a questionnaire of life. Damn, I don't even know what to ask next. Um, <laughs> all right, so <laughs> Nike boots, New Balances, or phone posits? Um, none of the above, but, that, but you want me to choose one if I had to choose one, right? Let's go with none of the above, why? So whenever I like get dressed, I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking about the character or the side of myself that I want to portray that day or the character that I want to be that day. Um, most of the characters that I portray have something to do with like an action movie, but if we could, if there's like a shoe that looks like some warrior stuff, it could be futuristic, but like old school, like warrior vibe. Then I'm gonna be hard eyes. Why action movies? I was raised on action movies, but I also I was also raised on just a lot of like warrior stories, movies, uh, images. What do you think like the closest modern equivalent to the warriors that you're kind of thinking about now are? Um, there's a difference between a soldier and a warrior, being that warriors maybe have like a code and the soldiers are just part of an agenda that's kind of like above them. They're governed mm -hmm. by like the structure of an army where warriors are governed by a code. Outside of that, anybody who kind of stands up for something that they believe in that also, you know, is, is helping cultivate the health of, of something within and, and bigger than them. People who, you know, in general, make sacrifices for the sake of something, you know, bigger. So, just to close out the warrior talk, you gotta pick one of these to defend you against the other two. You pick in a Viking, a Samurai, or a Zulu warrior. <laughs> okay. I would pick Zulu warrior. Um, just because people in general can, like, fight really good. I feel like I might be able to establish a bit more camaraderie with the Zulu in a way that would make him fight harder for me, like I'm family, even though I'm- Yeah, I, okay. My hair yeah. doesn't trace back to South Africa. Uh, you wanna do a stupid one? Yeah, man, I'm down for it. <laughs> you got that song, Hazel, in which a woman metaphorically, or metaphorically, I'm sorry, doo-doos across your heart. Yeah. Uh, what other thing would you write a song about a woman metaphorically doing across your heart? Uh, <laughs> Pee-peeing, throwing up, or just doodling more? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> my friends are gonna hate and love this. I probably would just choose more poop. More poop. Well, otherwise, it's getting weird. I feel like I feel like if, if the person can make it, if they can make it work. They can make it work. I think I can make it work. <laughs> Last question: What would you rather fight? One Mike Tyson, ten Michael Sarahs, or a hundred Mike Bloombergs? Super, the super bad guy. I rather fight ten of those. One Mike Tyson is definitely, I think, beat up ten of most of us. <laughs> And a hundred of anybody, no, I don't care if it's a hundred ants or whatever you are. A hundred squirrels, come on, so. I think I would pick 10 Michael Cyrus too, but I really don't think 10, like a hundred Mike Bloombergs would be that like difficult. I think they will. I think, I think it would F me. Well, they all got a suit on. They all got a suit on probably, so like mobility's down. But at all at the same time? Yeah, man. If just like, like this, 
Just take off both your shoes, start like swinging like crazy, man. You just gotta catch them. Yeah, man. I don't know. They got the they got the numbers to make me tired, and then after that, it's over. <laughs> Appreciate you doing this, man. I came out with a lot to think about after this. Like, yeah, it was a great time. All right, yeah. that's question air life. That's from now. Until next Later. time, I'm Trey. I'll talk to y'all later. I used to work at a fucking coffee shop. That's like around the time too, like the trains just started catching on fire for no reason. They're just like not showing up. Catching on fire? That's unfortunate. <laughs>